it's not up to the U.S. to tell the European Union who should be its members and who should uh, soon enter the European Union, what the time frame should be. But it is for us to say we want to get on with the project of a Europe that is, uh, that is uh, whole and free and at peace. I would be sort of ignoring reality today if I didn't tell you there are some very troubling things going on in Europe right now. And of course, I'm speaking about the Russian aggression against uh, its neighbor, Ukraine. You know, when I talk about Serbia-US relations, I don't want to mention other countries. But I don't think we can ignore the dangers that Russia's aggression against Ukraine has posed really for the rest of us. So I hope at a very minimum uh, we can begin a kind of more comprehensive dialogue, one that addresses some of the regional challenges, but also I think one that addresses uh, what our mutual aspirations are.